a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. The Walking Dead, Season 9 The ninth season of The Walking Dead, an American post-apocalyptic horror television series on AMC premiered on October 7, 2018, and will consist of 16 episodes, split into two parts, each consisting of eight episodes with the latter half airing in early 2019. Developed for television by Frank Darabont, the series is based on the eponymous series of comic books by Robert Kirkman, Tony Moore, and Charlie Adlard. The executive producers are Kirkman, David Alpert, Scott M. Jimple, Angela Kang, Greg Nicotero, Tom Luce, Denise Huth, and Galen Hurd, with Kang taking over the role of showrunner from Jimple, 18 months after the defeat of Negan under an alliance of communities spearheaded by Rick Grimes. The season focuses on the United Communities as they face obstacles and threats both outside and inside their alliance, with the threat of the mysterious Whisperers looming. The ninth season will be the final season for lead actor Andrew Lincoln, who has portrayed Rick Grimes since the series' first season, as well as for Lauren Cohen, who has portrayed Maggie Green since the second season. Main cast The ninth season features 19 series regulars overall. For this season, Caitlin Nakin and Tom Payne were added to the opening credits, after previously being credited as, also starring, Callan McAuliffe and Avi Nash were promoted to series regular status, after previously having recurring roles. Samantha Morton enters the secondary cast as Alpha, the leader of the Whisperers, who will be the main antagonist of this season. This will be the first season not to include Chandler Riggs and Steve Nogg, and the first not to include Lenny James since he was promoted to a series regular in the sixth season. All were credited as either a series regular, guest or a main cast member in previous seasons. Production The series was renewed for a ninth season in January 2018. Along with the renewal, it was announced that showrunner Scott M. Jimple would be promoted to chief content officer for both The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead, while writer and co-executive producer Angela Kang would take Jimple's role for The Walking Dead. Filming for the ninth season began on April 30, 2018 with Greg Nicotero directing the first episode of the season. Michael Cudlitz, who played Abraham Ford, will direct the seventh episode of the season. The ninth season features a redesigned opening credit sequence. The animated title sequence, which is graphic novel-inspired, features familiar imagery such as Daryl's motorcycle and crossbow, and Mykon's katana. Kang spoke of the inspiration for the new sequence. The feel of the season has elements of the Western genre. We are paying homage to some of the iconic moments from the graphic novel. Life is coming out of death. Nature's taking over, while other things are crumbling. Casting Most of the cast's contracts had to be renewed for the ninth season and beyond, and most of the cast did re-sign. The notable exception was Lauren Cohen who plays Maggie Green. Cohen had sought a pay increase from AMC given her high demand from other networks. While she had signed on to star in a new series, Whiskey Cavalier, for the ABC network, this contract would still enable her to participate on The Walking Dead in a limited role. In April, Cohen confirmed she signed on for the ninth season, but only for six episodes. At the end of the eighth season, former regular Lenny James was moved to The Walking Dead's companion series, Fear the Walking Dead as showrunner Scott M. Jimple felt there were more stories about Morgan to tell that would be more effective with Fear's smaller cast and narrative approach. In May 2018, it was announced that Avi Nash and Callan McAuliffe, who joined the series in the eighth season as the recurring roles of Sadiq and Alden, respectively, were promoted to series regulars. In late May, it was reported that the ninth season would be the final season for Andrew Lincoln, who plays lead character Rick Grimes. Lincoln said that as he lives in England and shooting a season takes six months or more, he believed it was time to leave the series to be able to spend more time with his growing children. However, he has expressed desire to direct an episode in future seasons for the series, and will shadow a director during the ninth season. Lauren Cohen also announced that this would be her last season on the series, appearing in the first six episodes as Maggie Green before her departure. 
Alongside other acting commitments, Cohen felt she had become too comfortable in the role, and it was time to move on. She appreciated the opportunity to explore Maggie in her last few episodes. In June 2018, it was reported that John Bernthal would reprise his role as Shane Walsh for one episode in the ninth season. In July 2018, it was reported that Lauren Ridloff, a deaf actress, would join the series in the ninth season playing Connie, a deaf survivor who communicates through sign language. Also in July 2018, during San Diego Comic Con, it was announced that Samantha Morton was cast in the series' regular role of Alpha, the leader of the Whisperers, a villain from the comic book series. Several other recurring roles were announced as well, played by Brett Butler, John Finn, Reese Coero, Dan Fogler, and Zach McGowan. On October 6, 2018, the day before the season premiere, the showrunners affirmed Bernthal's return as Shane, as well as Sonequa Martin-Green and Scott Wilson returning to reprise their roles as Sasha Williams and Herschel Green, respectively, at the New York Comic Con. Wilson died later that day due to cancer. However, according to Comic Book, Wilson had filmed his scenes previously to be broadcast during the first half of the season. Writing Angela Kang stated that the season would include a time skip, which coincides with the comic's narrative after the All Out War arc. She stated that they were aiming to give the series a fresh look and feel, and focusing a lot on the core character relationships in the show that have kind of been long-lasting, as well as all of our wonderful series regulars. Kang said that the season would explore what happened as man-made objects and structures break down, and what happens as resources are getting low, giving the season a western feel. Actor Tom Payne, who portrays Jesus, said the time jump is about a year and a half from the end of the eighth season, giving enough time for survivors to re-establish farming and livestock raising. Release The teaser for the season was released on July 19, 2018, the first day of the 2018 San Diego Comic Con. The trailer was released on July 20, 2018. The ninth season premiered on October 7, 2018 and the episode was made available a day early via AMC Premiere, the network's on-demand service. Critical response Critical reception for the ninth season of The Walking Dead has been positive, with critics noting its improvement over the two previous seasons. But remain cautious if the series can maintain its improved quality for the entire season. On Rotten Tomatoes, the season holds a score of 98% with an average rating of 6.98 out of 10, based on 10 reviews. The site's critical consensus reads, nine seasons in, The Walking Dead feels more alive than ever, with heightened tension and a refreshed pace that rejuvenates this long-running franchise. On Metacritic, the season has a score of 72 out of 100 based on four critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. Reviewing the season premiere, Sarah Moran of Screen Rant wrote the episode, feels like the fresh start the series so desperately needs, trading grim wartime for a more peaceful period of growth and reflection, and praised the changes made by new showrunner Angela Kang. Eric Kane of Forbes called the first episode, the best episode since season 6 and better than many in that season as well. Brandon Davis of ComicBook.com wrote a highly positive review based on the first three episodes, praising the more character-driven narrative. In another review from ComicBook.com, Cameron Bonomolo also praised the first three episodes of the season, writing, The Walking Dead is now a political drama viewed through the lens of a zombie apocalypse, turning greater focus to more complex character-driven conflict that is at its strongest since the Frank Darabont-led first season. Bonomolo also called the third episode, jaw-dropping, and that it delivers some of the finest mystery and drama the show has ever seen in its eight-year run. Jeff Stone of IndieWire wrote a positive review based on the first three episodes and gave them an A grade. He called the ninth season a huge step up for the show, and that the episodes are as strong as anything the show's done since the heyday of season four. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?